Roar! Welcome back to Polar versus Rectangular. We'll see who who is more supreme, okay? Um, I think they're both pretty awesome, but okay? Now, what I want you to think about is I want you to not think, actually. I want you to just tr think normal, okay? Just don't think that hard, and then you'll be able to do all this with ease, okay? Plot that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I uh, plot the given polar coordinates. Sorry, I thought I typed this wrong. Plot the given polar coordinates. So we have. 4, 3 pi over 2. Notice, it said that this is a polar coordinate. Arr! So you know for shizzle that it's r theta. You, tr you turn first, and then you travel 4. So think about what this is doing, right? That means you basically turn me around the pole. Remember, this is actually not showing. Remember, this is just me spinning. Me. Okay? Now you see the back of my head, right? Because we're not actually drawing this specific like path okay but where did you end up you ended up here but what you need to do is you got to go one two three four you turn that much but you ended up here because it says the r is four so you went down four so wait a minute because you knew that you had to go down because when you turn you're looking at the four because it's positive four so you see how this is simply 0, negative 4? Did you see that? Look how easy it is. Look, it's like me asking you to plot the given polar coordinates, but you know what I asked you to really do? To find the rectangular. Now, let me ask you this. Are these the same? course they are. One is speaking a different language, just like radians and degrees, right? Polar bears talk in this language. Human bears talk in rectangular, okay? Because if you were a polar bear, you would say, hey, hey, three pi over two, and then go four forward, because that's what it says, positive four. If you were a human, you would say, hey, go zero, do nothing left to right, and then go down four. And that's what this is saying. So zero, four would be the rectangular coordinates. You see how rectangle, I like to call it rectangle chords, okay? You see how easy it is? And I think when we were actually doing it, exploring, as we were traveling on the ground of the classroom, you probably noticed this how easy it is. So how about you try this guy here, okay? All right. Okay, welcome back to the video. Now it says here, turn, Negative. That means you have to go clockwise 3 pi over 4. 3 pi over 4, you, you don't have to convert anymore, right? You're like 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4 is about right here. And it says to go R how much? R? Wait, does it say to go backwards or forward? Imagine yourself. You're actually looking at 3 pi over 4 this way, but you, it says to go negative 1. That means you have to go beep, 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 beep. Remember, you're rotating about the pole. So you have to go back. Back that ass up one back that ass up one so you end up here in the first quadrant first quadrant okay now if you don't understand this stop the video ask me or ask your friend or call someone right now right now okay chicos do you understand why we ended up at the first quadrant we had to back it up we were we traveled this way so we're looking here looking that way but we have to go backward one Okay, we have to go backward. Okay, that negative one. So this is negative one, negative three pi over four. But now, what if I asked you, what if I asked you, I want you to tell me that coordinate. Huh, I wonder what that coordinate is. Wait, wait, you kind of think you know? What? Isn't this a, what kind of triangle is this? What's this refrancs angle? Pi over four, you say? Wait a minute. So wait a minute, this is the polar coordinate, but that's pi over four right there, right? So how much did you go to the right and how much did you go to the right? A lot, I mean, up. That means rectangular, rectang, it would be what? Think about it, okay? If you were thinking root two over two, root two over two, root two over two to the right, root two over to the one, um, you would be right because if you think about this triangle that you just created in this quadrant one, isn't this radius one because it says r is one? Whether it's negative or one positive, right? We went direction-wise one backwards, but we know that's one. That means this guy is just going to be 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So we use our special right triangle formula.
Now, we're going to come back to this guy and formalize it in a sec. Don't you worry. So I'm going to ask you this again. Are these, when a polar bear says this, and I say human-wise, go this much, are they same? Are they the same position? Yes, you will end up at the same destination. Let's try another one on your own. Go ahead and try this. All right, welcome back. Did you do something like this? Did you travel 120 degrees? 90 and 30 more. So 120 degrees. And did you, wait, wait, you tr you're here, but wait, you went backwards. You were looking there, but you went beep, 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 beep. So you ended up at the fourth quadrant. Did you end up at the fourth quadrant? I hope so. Fourth quadrant would be right. And what is this, right? And you gotta think, what is this actual coordinate? What is this actual coordinate? Hmm, okay, think about that. Okay, uh, well, you know for sure that this guy is a uh, what kind of refrox angle right there? The refrox angle here is what? It's the same as this guy here, right? If you think about it. Okay, let's be uh, pi over three or 60 degrees, right? Oh, let me write it really uh, nicely here. Isn't this a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle? I didn't write it very nicely. Sorry about that. 60, and isn't this a 30 degree triangle? Well, let me try that again. Jesus, so ugly. Let's try that again. Isn't this 60 degrees here? <laughs> and isn't this, oh my goodness, Dio is Mio. This is 60 degrees, and this is 30 degrees. It's a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, and you know that this guy lengthwise is a two. I know it's a negative two, but you know that the lengthwise is two. So try to figure out this coordinate here. We're going to formalize it in a sec. Don't you worry, baby. Okay. Don't you worry. Um, now I said, don't you worry, but let's take care of it now. How about if I went to the front? Remember everything that we talked about here? Didn't we say, wait a second. If I ask you this, if I multiply this R value and this theta value, which I know it is, which I know the value of, and this R and this theta, and I compute and I compute, don't I get rectangular X and Y? Okay, so think about that. So I'm going to go ahead and use it here. But remember the first one that we just discussed, example 1.2? Let's think about that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We said that X is equal to R cos theta. We said that Y is equal to R sine theta. Okay, now if you forget this, just draw yourself a right triangle and try to see if you can figure it out or derive it, okay? Wait, don't we know that radius is negative 1? We know that our angle is negative 3 pi over 4. I mean, if you want to do all this work, you can do all this work. But if you think that instinctively you already know it, that's great. Y equals negative 1 and sine whatever theta they gave us. Well, you know for sure that cosine of negative 3 pi over 4 is going to end up in the third quadrant, which gives you negative 2 over 2. Now, if you're still struggling with your uh, unit circle, then yeah, you may have to use your unit circle again. You could pull it out. But if you remember it, that's wonderful. This is also negative root 2 over 2. So we get root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, which is exactly what we achieve here, just with our gut, just using that right triangle information, okay? Here's our x and here's our y. So that's our rectangular coordinate, right? Let's go back to this guy here. You want to use the same technique? Go for it. So let's try that. x equals r cos theta, y equals r sine theta. Let's try it. x equals our radius is negative 2. I like to do these without even like, you know, this whole calculating thing. But if you understand how to do it without it, that's great. But if you need to use it, that's okay too. We're given the ra uh, radius and we're given the angle, right? What is the cosine of 120 degrees? Sometimes it's hard for me to think in degrees, but I know that's going to be negative 2. And I know that's a short side and that went to the left. So it's going to be negative half. Okay, and I know that uh, this is going to be the x, and I know that this is negative 2. What's sine of 120 degrees? You know how it's uh, tall and small? So I'll draw that for you. Ding, 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 ding. You know that this is 60, okay? All right, so we got uh, root 3 over 2, right? Root 3 over 2, but it's positive. So we get x is positive 1, and y is negative root 3. And that's exactly what the rectangular coordinates are, 1 and negative root 3. And that's what those values are. Uh, wait, positive root 3, right? Wait, wait, what happened here? Oh, yeah, wait, negative 2, 120. Oh, shoot, don't. Wait, did I do something wrong here? 
here to 20? We're 3 over 2 positive? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because where we ended up, Chico's. Because where we ended up. Oh, my God. I almost lost it. Chico's, you know that this, this, we're not talking about this guy. We're talking about this final destination. Final destination right here. And that's why it's positive 1 and negative root 3. Okay? All right. Now, how about if I give you polary again? And then we're going to actually do more of this. Why don't you go ahead and stop the video and try these on your own? Travel first, turn, and then go. Okay? All right. Because we talked about, when we were talking about in the classroom, on the ground of our classroom, we talked about all the different ways we can get to this place. Okay? Try this. Now, if you want to try it without the video, you can't. So stop the video and you try it. But otherwise, I will keep reading this. Now, this one, plot given coordinate, try, think and try to find three additional polarity representations for the point. So remember, this is only one polarity. We want another polarity. We want another polarity. And we want another polarity. That means they all have to be in R theta. R theta. R theta. R theta. Okay? We want only talk like polar bears. Okay? That means I want to travel. Wait, this time I'm saying that we're going to go around clockwise. Negative 11 pi over 6 is about me. Remember, remember this, this thing? It's not really showing. Remember, we're just turning around the pole. Remember, we're spinning. We're spinning. We're doing a pole dance like this. Me, 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 me. And then I'm looking at this, okay? So I know I'm looking at this final destination. How much do I go this much? I go 5 root 2 this much, okay? Because that's, that's the direction I'm looking. That's why this is the first one here, okay? But now, how else can I get there? Well, I think the easiest one is, well, if I went 11 pi over 6 this way, I know I could go pi over 6 to the positive, right? Pi over 6. And how much should I go forward? Because if I went pi over 6, I turn this way pi over 6, I have to go forward, same amount, 5 root 2. Easy peasy. How else can I get there? You can moonwalk. Remember Michael Jackson, he could moonwalk, right? So can you. So you can be here and then moonwalk there. So how would I get there? You'd have to first rotate all the way from 0. How much here? Think about the refrancs angle. So I know what you were thinking. You would go 7 pi over 6. Positive direction because you go be 7 pi over 6, ding, ding. And then what would you do? Beep, 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 beep. Back that ass up. How much? Negative 5 root 2. Okay? That's right. That's 3. We got one more. How else can I get there? Remember, you want to just get here. How do I get here but I need to move back? So maybe you could go this much. How much? Not all the way, but... Just a little bit. Reference angle has to be 30 degrees or pi over 6 here. So it's going to be 5 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6, which direction? Negative direction. So you're like, hey, rotate this much and then just go backwards, man. Okay? And then you would say just go backwards. Because when you rotate a 5 pi over 6, you're staring at the back. But you're going to back it up. Right? You're going to back it up. Okay? And that's how you do this guy here. That's your four representation between negative 2 pi to 2 pi. Now, how about... Now, I know you're... Textbook shows you all this kind of crazy, um, like, notations. But you don't need to worry about it because it's pretty common sense, don't you think? If you want, you can do it this way. So why don't you try, try example 1.5 on your own and then turn the video back on when you're ready to check your answers. Oh, welcome back. Hey, did your answers look something like this? Did you have three more? And did you travel to here? This is your final destination. And this length? was 3 over 2. Hopefully, you didn't even need a lot of um, thinking on this one, right? Hopefully, you said, hey, I could just go pi over 2 and then walk up, right? Because, I mean, technically, yes, you did negative 3 pi over 2, right? What else can you do? We can also start from here, can't we? And move backwards. So, were you thinking negative pi over 2 and then back it up? Back it up. Directed angle, directed distance, right? What else could we do? Oh, this is a tricky one. Wait, what are we missing here? What are we missing here? I mean, I guess I could... Wait, we went backwards for... What, else, what are we missing? Which one are we missing? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, how about if I just go... Beep, like that? What do you think of that? What if I went here, this way, from zero? Right? That means I traveled 3 pi over 2. But wait, I travel 3 pi over 2. That means I'm looking at my destination behind me. So it's going to be negative 3 over 2. 
All right. So, I mean, I don't like to give you math this way, but yes, you're right. You're going to have two negative directions and two positive directions. You got to moonwalk twice or go forward twice. Okay. All right. More exciting things ahead. Okay. Wait for it. Bye. Good luck. Polar coordinates are pretty easy and fun.